Hey guys, I'm Jason. I'm a small budget filmmaker and I need a multi-camera setup. Today I'm going to show you the best way I've found to do it. As you'll see, it's very easy to set up, especially because it's wireless. You can use any type of gear or equipment. It can go from a huge broadcasting camera to small mobile devices. In my case, I'm actually going to be using two iOS devices, an iPad and an iPhone. I'm here with TVU Networks to present to you the best tips, tools and guides to help you achieve the best quality stream possible. If you find this type of content useful, please remember to like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our future uploads. We all know live streaming can produce stability, latency and camera synchronization issues. Well, in this video, I'm going to use a TVU solution which manages to solve all of them at once and also work outdoors. By connecting the TVU Anywhere app to TVU Producer, both tools designed specially for broadcasters and journalists, you're able to benefit from three different things. Their patented live algorithm IS+, cellular bonding technology, which manages to add your Wi-Fi and cellular data together, and high quality H.265 video encoding. With those three elements, you won't have to worry about your live stream going wrong. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you the actual gear side, and then I'm going to show you how to set up TVU Producer. To get a professional look, you don't really need expensive gear or equipment. I'm going to be using an iPhone and an iPad, so it doesn't really matter, you can mix and match. Of course, you can always use bigger broadcasting cameras, cameras that output an SDI, but you're going to have to look into TVU Nano or TVU One to get that working. So next, to get a more professional look, I usually use a tripod. But don't forget, this is just about stability. So if you find a way to set your phone up straight against the wall or against the monitor or something like that, it also works. Moving on, I'm always going on about lighting. It seems to me that it's one of the most important things as to getting a professional look out of your camera. And of course, just like everything, you can go on the more expensive side or on the lower budget. The same goes for audio. You can go as high or as low budget as you want. You can use an on-body camera mic, you can use a lavalier mic, you can even use a podcasting mic. The important thing is to be in a quiet place. As you can see, I'll be using a lapel mic plugged in to the camera via a device that translates XLR to jack. And finally, all you need is a laptop and on it to connect to TVU Producer. What's great about it is that regardless of what microphone or camera you use, you're going to benefit from the same stability and synchronization. And finally, we have it all set up. As you can see, it was quite easy. First of all, you need to have the Anywhere app installed and updated on all your mobile devices, so don't forget. Now, let's hop onto Producer and I'll show you how to connect them all up. And we're in. First of all, let me take you on a quick tour around the interface before getting into the different features it has. As you can see, on the left side, we have the preview of your program before sending it to live. You can always deactivate that preview by clicking the eye icon if you want to have everything go straight to your live channels without any draft version. On the right side is your final program output, what people will see on your social media and website or whatever you plan to output your live event. Below, you have all the live feeds available. As a default, you get four live feeds and three extra feeds for local video, IP video, or custom video, but you can go up to eight live feeds if needed. But first of all, you need to create your program. Start by naming it, then select what video format you want. In our case, we're going for 1080p, 25fps. Select how many audio channels you want, in our case, we only need two. And finally, you have the option to enable extra features like exporting directly to party line, exporting in vertical format, and more things. Now you're ready. Let's start. So, how do you add sources? If you're planning on using the Anywhere app, it couldn't be easier. Just click on the connect button, make sure to put in your phone number and name, although they are optional, and click next. As you can see, it's very easy and fast. I think it's the best way. 
Although, if you want to go a different route, you have six other ways to do it. You have external IP source. Here you can input any external IP source, RTMP feeds or others. Next is PAC, which is to connect to any TVU live video transmitters like the TVU1 and TVU Nano mentioned before. TVU Grid, which I don't really need to get into as it's more for professional broadcasters. RTMP Push, here you can connect any third party live streaming software, just insert the URL and stream key that TVU producer generates. A simple HTML. and party line, which I think is a great way to invite lots of guests to your live event. In this video, we're going to go the anywhere route because we want to connect mobile devices which allow us to benefit from stable live stream, synchronization of all cameras, H.265 encoding, cellular bonding, the possibility to use both front and rear cameras at the same time, etc. And all the extra features of a mobile journalist app or live streamer app. It integrates with all the major platforms like YouTube, Facebook and Twitch. You can do a vertical feed for Instagram. The options are endless when deciding where to output to. Setting up overlays for your stream is a breeze with TV Producer, from a simple logo import to more professional looking graphics. You can integrate URL graphics from pages like never.no and singular.live without any problems. There are also transition graphics. You can set up any sort of custom view by connecting more than one input. You can change the background with a preloaded one. Don't forget, you can also play recorded video and not only live feed. With the local video feature, you can upload any type of content from your local device or cloud drive, content like an intro, advert or anything like that. Although there is the Skitty function, which is the tool to insert programmed advertising, but that's more for a professional broadcast and OTT channels, so I don't think we're going to need that at the moment. You can easily record the program by clicking on Mark In to start it, and Mark Out to stop it. Then, to access your recordings, go to the workbench, which stores everything on the cloud. There, you'll be able to download them to your device. Producer makes it easy to simplify your production and go faster with switching from a source to another or playing a certain transition or graphic by allowing you to configure your own keyboard shortcuts. To start off with audio mixing in Producer, you can go for simple controls, like activating or deactivating the audio follow video. Or, if you want to dive deeper in audio mixing, you can open the advanced audio mixer, which gives you access to all the audio inputs and lets you control the output on each of them individually by raising or lowering the volume, panning left to right, and more options like that. As you can see, switching between different feeds is very easy. 
With just one click between different sources, they're automatically live with zero delay and perfect frame accuracy. I'm just going to touch on other cool features Producer has that we don't necessarily need right now, but I still think are important to bring up. First of all, we have the intercom, which lets you communicate with everyone by providing a live feed through their phone when using the TVU Anywhere app or through their TVU transmitters. Second is the live captions feature. You get automated closed captions, so if you want to have your video with subtitles, go for it. Another cool thing to mention about Producer is that you can have several people working on the same program from anywhere. For example, here my production friend is on his laptop, while I have another friend at home you can't see who is managing the audio graphics. But you can also do it all yourself. As a default, the configuration is already great. And lastly, if you're planning to do something with a lot of guests and have them in a queue where you can interact with them in private and manage them, I highly recommend using TVU Party Line. It's kind of a conferencing platform, but custom made for live events. So no drop in video or audio to expect and broadcast quality. You can click on the link below or the video up there to learn more about that. As you can see, TV Producer is pretty easy to set up without requiring you any third party apps jumping around from here to there. Now you can set up your very own multi-camera live streams with only two mobiles and a laptop. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell to get updated on our future uploads. Thanks for everything, have a good one.